Hello and welcome to another episode of Simple Rockets 2 Mobile Tutorials. Right, so you guys all asked for it. So here it is. This is going to be how to make a rover. So, as expected, you always start with this as a new craft. You don't want this because this is rubbish. <laughs> you just want to go into the menu as I, as I showed you in the last one of the last tutorials. Get a command chip. Go settings, set primary, and then you want to grab hold of this and just chuck it in the bin because it's pretty much useless. Right, next thing, you want to move your view over a little bit just by double two fingers, you can move it side to side. Right. So, what you want, it seems odd, but if you want to make a square, you need a cylinder fuel tank because it's the only um, part that you can really use. So what I would suggest first is just setting this to be take the fuel type off and set this to be if I can find it battery and then just keep it as a battery like that and then you don't have to worry about too much power. If you want to make it into a square you go into this um, the active tool and then you go down to the part shape tool click on the face that you want to change so I've selected the bottom change the corner radius to 0% and that pretty much just makes it square select the top face and do the same there we go we now have a square so what you want to do with this square if you want to shape it see you want to pull out the front just pull on this arrow, it's got a nice little grid so you align them perfectly select the bottom half, if you want to select the bottom half obviously pull them over till they align with that grid oops, I went one, two less and there we go, we've got our nice little square now that we build upon right, a lot of you asked how I made the um, headlights on my rover so I'm gonna quickly show you how I did that so I'm gonna get myself a little um, a fuel tank put it on the side here then I'm just gonna make it smaller like so as small as I can like a little disc now it's nowhere from it nowhere near it so you want to put it to one of the sides mirror it like so, go to the active tool the rotate tool and then what you want to do, you can either use these rings to rotate it but I think on mobile it's easier to just press the arrows where it says X angle it's easier to press the arrows so move them so it's 90 degrees that way then go on the translate part tool which is basically just a move tool and move them back and there you go, so they're still sticking out a little bit and then what you want to do is go into the custom paint tab you want to make sure this is on custom and not default then you want to select one of the bottom rows make sure it's on white go to custom style 100% metallic 250% emission and then just click on them like that and there you go you have to headlights that don't actually work but look like they work right so next of all um, solar panels you can either go for adding some side solar panels and just changing the size of them or you can just chuck some of these on and mirror it like so and then changing the setting to the length maybe bring them into the centre like so and there you go you've got two nice solar panels on your rover right now let's go to the actual main part which is the wheels I would suggest starting these with a block because blocks are easy to move around on a on a body of a tank you can either start with a block or you can go to gizmos and select a fuel adapter so you can place that anywhere you want on the body as well 
either way it doesn't really make a difference make sure you mirror that or you can times four it no that doesn't work sorry M make sure you mirror that and then what you want to do is press the little hand highlight it and duplicate it so that then can be mirrored as well right and from there you can pretty much go straight on connect your wheels if you wish and in the menu just choose the size that you want so you want them that big by that wide nice little thin wheels if you want them to turn set a turning angle at the back you probably won't advanced wheel settings if you want them to be more powerful move the motor torque if you want them to brake harder move the brake torque higher the harder so that would pretty much stop on a dime but if you put it all the way to 500 it would be a little bit less rough on the rover and the motor torque if you go all the way to 5000 then you're just going to be doing flips out all day so I would suggest trying to keep it low because it doesn't really need much and then if you go further down you can set your motor input and then you can set your part style which is just preference on how you want the wheels to look I personally like the, the lunar style like that and then what you want to do is just duplicate that by using the same tool there again but then you want to go up and where it says turn an angle I would put at least 10 degrees there so there we go that's a basic rover so if we just test this once it loads <laughs> and there we go and you can see our nice little rover here I'll go at the daytime so it's easier for the video there we go now all you want to do is set the throttle oops I may have made it backwards let's go on to uh, I'm not sure how you turn on more back. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I've actually made the rover backwards, but forgive us for that. It still works. So there you go. You use the yaw to turn the yaw axis, which is the left joystick on mobile. And there you go. You've got this nice little rover that skids around everywhere. Let's go full power. And look at that. And also brake by powering down and then holding down, like so, and that breaks it, puts the brakes on, and then go back full power again, and drift. <laughs> so there you go, that's a simple rover, and keeping it nice and flat like this, it means it probably won't slide, um, topple over, but if you raise it up, and it might flip but keeping it flat like this is perfect because it just doesn't flip at all so if I have a look it's just because I added them on this side that they're actually rotating the wrong way if you want to change that And just have to direction reversed direction reversed and just change these ones like so make these oh yeah let's keep them as that so there we go this that should now go the right direction And there we go, see? And we also need to reverse the steering. But you get the idea. And that's a simple little rover. 
So thank you for watching again. And any more suggestions, please do leave them down in the just, um, comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like. Thanks for watching and see you next time.